So afternoon, welcome back if you were with us earlier to the National Basketball Arena here in Tala. We're all set to go in the Subway Schools under 19A All-Ireland Final. The Mercy Mount Hawk and Gail Kloster Muir, the AG. I'm joined again for this one as the noise ratchets up here by UUJ coach and former under-18 women's national team coach, Patrick O'Neill. Pat, the crowd is certainly packed in from all schools. I'm not sure if there's anyone left in Chile, but uh, promises to be a really exciting game. Yeah, lots of talent, you know. There's some really good players on, on both teams that will be exciting to watch and see how it goes. Uh, you know, and for Chile, I think uh, uh, Dara, I think uh, Ke Keneally will be the one to watch. He's been a top scorer for Chile right throughout this competition. He's number 14. Uh, and then you've got the Hannigan brothers uh, for Gail Kalosh Vera AG. So Scott is number five and James is number nine. The first shot up from Collins, well blocked inside by Leroy Adoa. He was exceptional in the semi-final, patrolling that basket, real young talent. Floater from Hannigan, off the board, and that's the first two of the game to the AG. Yeah, nice play. Good confidence shot, just to get him going and in rhythm. A good pressure, Lehan gets the steal. Keeps it in bounds. Lehan takes the float, it doesn't go. Well rebounded from Bowler. And Vansell this time can't hold the ball, it's stolen away by Looney. And it'll be Lehan, looks to set things up. And interesting enough that Lehan plays the point guard a lot for this team, Pat. Even though probably more of a forward. Yeah, and it, it, you know, it pushes the Hannigans off onto the wings and gives them that shooting presence out there. Nice pass. Great cut back door. And Hannigan gets back-to-back -back baskets. And we 4-0 lead early. Yeah, nice play there by James. He attacked the, uh, attacked the free throw line and then uh, drew the defense and found his brother cutting back door. Do a nice pass. Good defense again from... Looney and out of bounds there as Bowler steps on the end line and it will be the AG's ball. Pat, huge crowd in, so it'll be a little bit of nerves from both teams, although for the semi final, which was a, a sellout of over a thousand there, Chile, Chile probably more used to it than the lads from Cork. Yeah, it was some game. Uh, I know you were down there at it as well and went to double overtime, so CBS, it was. Uh, yeah, it was great entertainment. You can hear the, the crowd here calling it out. And Hannigan showed no nerves earlier. Of course, they have a lot of experience in the National Cup with Neptune. Both Leahan and the Hannigans. So, Mount Hawk looking for their first score to settle their nerves. Vencel gets into the key. He takes a float there. That one doesn't go. Tipped by Collins into the hands of Hannigan. And he'll look to push at pace. And the game's certainly been up and down pace. And we expect that for the whole game, I, I expect, Pat, do we? So. Yeah, both teams want to get out and run. You, you've seen that in the semi-finals, so they do. As we see, Lehan takes the big three. Good offensive board there by Collins. And James another Hannigan great with offensive three. rebound. And Lehan showing his size, the big boy. Dave Lehan going to get foul here. It's going to go against 23. Leroy, Leroy Doa. So it'll be end line ball. 7:29 to go in this first quarter. 4-0 to the AG. Yeah, Chalil want to uh, try and get another stop here and just uh, find the basket, settle themselves a little bit, and get into this game. James Hannigan pull up two. Is short. Rebounded by Collins. Lehan for three. Again, Collins gets a tip on it, but it ends up in the hands of Canelli. Yeah, four offensive boards. Uh, John Dowling won't be a bit happy about that at all. And the first two of the game for Mount Hawk. That will set the nerves a little bit. Yeah, nice play. That was the captain there, Philip Corkery. Good attack, nice left hand finish high off the glass. 
Good defense there, active hands as we see uh, Parkery push the ball inside to Canelli. Canelli gets the bounce. And we're tied up for all. Pat now sell the nurse man talk a little bit now and they're into the game and now we'll see who the best team is. Yeah, you can see both teams, you know, just feeling each other out as you'd expect. In this under 19A, a lot of lot of good talent out there. So I think you know it's gonna be an exciting game. He had nice to get back out to Hannigan for three. And James Hannigan with the first big three-point shot of the game. Seven to four, six oh eight to go. First quarter, Odoa at the top trying to get it. So good jump from Scott Hannigan, and here look go to the basket, float over the top of Leroy. Leroy rebounds the ball and somehow manages to get it full court into the hands of Canelli. Corby just slows things down, but his space is going to the basket for Vansell, but he's blocked. And it'll be end line ball to Mount Hawk. Yeah, exciting stuff. You know, I think, uh, like you said at the start, Matt, it's going to be high intensity, high pace, both teams pushing it. Long two for Canelli. Bounces out, and Hannigan eventually, uh, Lee Han, so he eventually ends up with the ball into the hands of James Hannigan. And we've travel called as Kian Looney. Call for the travel, and Mount Hawk will look to set things up to Corkery. And back in hands of their captain here. Corkery, Leo top of the key, he's going to take two. That one bounced out and rebounded by Collins. Lee Han wastes no time in getting forward to Scott Hannigan. Good move to get into the key from Lee Han. Finds the cut in Hannigan. And great two. Yeah, great court vision here by the Hannigans. You know, they've both done a really good job of getting to the open spot or making the backdoor cut. And Lee Han has been exceptional to start this game for uh, Galesville. This time they do get the high low pass and finished inside from Canelli. And Pat, we've seen the last couple of offenses. They've had Leroy at the top of the key looking for that inside outside. High low post pass to Canelli as we get our first subs of the game and into the court comes James Fanan. Yeah, the you know the two long players there in Canelli and Leroy and they can both stretch. And I think it's uh it'll be an effective tactic for uh, Coach Dowling if he can get it working. The free throw is good, so it's a two point game. Straight away, AG, straight back into offense here. Lee Han finds Hannigan. Collins. Lee Han, he's been taking those. This time he puts on the floor, and it'll be Hannigan that takes the three. This time it's James, rebounded by Lee Han, and back in the hands of James Hannigan. Looks to slow things up. Seven on the shot clock. Scott Hannigan, nice. Fake onto the baseline and beautiful finish for Scott Hannigan. Yeah, lovely play. Really good job of getting the defender to stand up tall and then uh, lovely floating finish. Cork with a nice move under the basket but can't finish. Lee Han gets the rebound. Somehow into the hands of Hannigan. This time it's James. Can't finish. And rebounded by Fernand who's just checked into the game here. Three point shot from Corkery. Doesn't go but rebounded by Keneally, a two for Mount Hawk. Nice finish, lovely spin move in the paint after he grabbed that rebound, fumbled the, the dribble a little bit, but then got his footwork bang on and nice bank off the glass. Lehan on the wing, inside to Looney. Looney doesn't go, but Collins been very effective, just causing the problem. See the length of Leroy there, he gets the ball, but tips it back out. Hannigan, eight on the shot clock. Hannigan, step back three. Again, good defense from Fernand. Gets a hand on the ball, but we'll get two shots. And Mount Hawk a little unlucky there after a couple of good defensive stops. Yeah, you know, they're playing that 3 2 zone. Uh, only thing is, they're not going looking to find the man on the shot goes up. So, uh, Gail Kalashtavir are getting a lot of offensive boards, like you said. 
Kean Ludi and James Collins and Lehan are getting a lot of tips inside there. So it's uh, something that they're definitely going to need to address if they're sticking with it. Some lovely blocks, like, like I said, Leroy, really long athlete. The second one is waved off, I believe, stepped over the line, so it'll stay 12-9. As we see a little bit of full court pressure here from the AG. Yeah, 3.07 to go here in this first. And immediately it pays off with the steal and Hannigan puts it in. They're straight back into this full court pressure. 14-9. Ball in the hands of Fanan. He's done well since coming on. Somehow ends up with Leroy. And Leroy pumps his chest as he knocks down the two. He's fouled. We'll go to the line for an extra one. We're back 14-11. Yeah, Collins called with the foul there. Leroy's done a really good job of getting position there. Nice finish through the contact. And the chance of Leroy. Leroy go out from the Mount Hawk faithful. And he knocks down the free throw. 14-12, 2.45 to go in this first quarter. It's been an up and down game here as a turnover. Ends up in the hands of Keneally. Corkley, great defense from Hannigan. Gives him nowhere to go, but finds the open Bowler. Bowler to the bucket, doesn't go. And Lee had had the ball. It's going to be a foul. I think it's going to go against the AG. It does, it's number 11, so it's the first foul on James Collins. the second foul on Collins inside to Keneally and he puts it in Pat he's had a great start to the game yeah, yeah. Stephen Baller did a really good job of seeing that uh, he had half a step in front of the defender and oh. found him nice finish he's got lovely footwork inside here he is again with an up and under this time Collins and Lehan managed to Get a hand on the ball. All square with two minutes to go as AG are working the ball. Offensive foul calls. So that one's gone against Lehan as the AG will take a timeout. Talk it over. We'll be back with you shortly. So welcome back here, tied of 14, two minutes to go. Pat, we've had a really good pace first quarter here. Both teams really cancel each other out a little bit, I suppose. Yeah, and, and you know, slightly contrasting styles in relation to where they're looking to get the buckets. Uh, AG are, are very comfortable taking the shot from the outside. You have to say Mercy are uh, looking to put the ball inside to Keneally. That's where they feel their offensive opportunities are coming. AG have had a lot of change out of this uh, full court pressure and uh, they forced some turnovers there by Mercy, which I'm sure Coach Dolling will want to talk about as we see them attack baseline, good rebounds. A steal nice by Corkley. Yeah, well done. From the missed shot, we saw the layup from James Hannigan there after the steal, so it's 16-14. 
just about saves it in there. Three point shot goes up from Corkery. That one's off, so just had to beat the shot clock there to get that one up. 114 to go. First quarter of the Subway Schools on 19A final. Lee Han. Looney looking for the ball at the foul line, but skips it to Hannigan. James Hannigan to Scott and back to Scott Hannigan. Yeah, nice move inside from Scott Hannigan. And he's had a terrific start to the game. Yeah, his court vision is excellent. He's really finding the gaps and, you know, he's had three backdoor cuts and I think that's his second one attacking from the elbow down the middle. Keneally uses his strength inside but can't finish. Good defence from Bowler, just managed to slow down James Hannigan. But Lehan, nice pass in again from Scott Hannigan. And we've seen a little bit of an exhibition from Scott Hannigan here. He's been unbelievable in this first quarter. Yeah, really skilled, really skilled guard. You know, he's showing all his skills as he's doing it. With a turn over here, it's James Hannigan's going to get an easy two. And all of a sudden, we have an eight-point lead, nine seconds to go. The Mount Hawk, five seconds, have to get it up, Corkery, Fowler, he'll get the three up in time, they need this to go, it bounces out. So they're out after the end of a really quick first quarter. It's the AG leading Mercy Mount Hawk on a scoreline of 22 to 14. So we're ready to go in the second quarter of the Subway Schools under 19A boys final. Mount Hawk trailing the AG 22 14. That was the big difference between the two teams in that first quarter. Yeah, it was the full court pressure. I thought uh, AG did a really good job of getting hands in the passing lanes, forcing Mount Hawk to put the ball up in the air and then picking it off. And that was the difference. Hannigan then, you know, was exceptionally 12 points in that first quarter and did a really good job of. Cutting back door as we see Mount Hawk trying to get back into it. They've made two on an inside score just there and now missed the shot, and that was. Fanan with a missed shot there. Bowler with a basket. 22 16. So the perfect start to the quarter from Coach John Dowling's point of view. Hannigan's three goes in and out, and Corky will have a chance to set things up here for Mount Hawk. Yeah, important for Mount Hawk to. Keep a little bit of offensive rhythm going now and force a few stops from AG because if AG get ahead, get that 10, 12 points, I think Mount Hawk will find it tough to come back from that. Bowler thought he was fouled here. Didn't get it, so it'll be end line ball to the AG. Big crowd in here. We have a full house here in the National Basketball Arena. Both teams have brought plenty to the game. Stolen away in Corkery is under pressure from Moynihan. Three point, uh, two point shot sorry, from Fernand, but rebounded by Keneally. And great finish from Keneally. 
Yeah, good discipline there by Lehan to just stand tall, not lean, not draw the foul. So. Inside to Moynihan. Moynihan finds a bit of space and good finish for Moynihan. Just checked into the game. 24-18. Six-point lead, eight minutes to go in his second quarter. Two-point shot from Bowler over the outstretched hands of Lehan. We've got a foul call there. It's going to go against Tristan Raymond. And the subs coming in again as David Burke will check in for Mount Hawks. Pat Mount Hawk and coach John Dowling getting his team onto the court. He's made a good few subs there, giving all of them a chance to feel the uh, feel the atmosphere here in the arena. Yeah, and you can see his message at the end of the quarter was, you know, if you're open, take that shot. We've had uh, Fernand take a couple of shots. We've had Baller take one there. They haven't quite dropped for them just yet, but at least they're looking for it. Great finish there on the break from David Burke. So he wastes no time in making his impact in the game. Yeah, really nice play. Turned his body into the defender. Finished with the outside hand off the glass. Drew the contact. Well, he'll get a chance for a three-point play here. And he makes no mistakes. It's been a good start to the quarter for uh, Mount Hawk. They needed it. Leah Han here on the wing. Guarded closely by Fernand. Fakes the shot, gets into the key, pulls up from the elbow, doesn't go, good rebound, it's going to go to the AG. As Leroy will come back in for Mount Hawk. He replaces Raymond. It was a good spell by Raymond there. Nice couple of minutes to give Leroy a little bit of a breather. James Hannigan, James Hannigan with a nice soft touch from the elbow, 26-21, 7.18 to go. Yeah, against the 3-2, you can see AG are looking to try and exploit the elbow as much as possible, so they're swinging players into it. Time for Dan. kicks to Corkery for three, that one's not, but Canelli has been a real handful on the basket, uh, under the basket there, and a beautiful pass between the two bodies to Leroy, and he knocks down another two, gets it back to a three-point game. Yeah, nice play inside. Good offensive rebound. Smart with the two defenders around him to split them and find Leroy under the basket. Scott Hannigan with a float that doesn't go. Rebounded by Moynihan. It's been a very effective since coming in the game. This time it's James Hannigan. Sees a cut in Lehan under the hoop. He's called for travel before he has a chance to hit him. We've got subs coming in for Mount Hawk. As back into the game comes Stephen Bowler and James Fernand. Gets a break. Corkery sets things up for Mount Hawk. Bowler on the baseline. He's going to get all the way to the bucket. Doesn't get it. Leroy tries to get the rebound. And it comes off Leroy first. Good rebounding from Scott Hannigan. So it'll stay AG ball. Yeah, nice drive by Baller, he really just has to get the ball a little bit higher and finish on those. Lehan to Moynihan on the baseline. Tries to put it through the legs of Bowler, but lucky enough gets it back. This time Bowler, efforts pay off as he gets the steal. And Corkery gets it forwards. And it'll be a good chance as Burke just slows it down, gets the ball back into his hands. Corkery, this time decides against the three. Gets it to Canelli. And again, tries to find Leroy, but this time the AG were wise to it. And Scott Hannigan with a steal. James Hannigan, this time can't finish. Rebound Leroy. And Mount Hawk will push the ball through Corkery. He just kicked someone's foot there and fell down. Moynihan blocked by Leroy, but it'll be a foul. And two shots. And that'll be the second foul on Leroy Adoa. And sub coming into the game for the first time is Jack McGrath for the AG. The AG still doing a good job of putting pressure on, on Corkery in particular when he's got the ball coming down the court, but any of the Mount Hawk guards and uh, trying to force those turnovers. 
So Moynihan knocks down the first from the foul line. Missed the second, but rebounded by James Hannigan. Yeah, Keneally annoyed with himself for not getting the man on the box out there. And Mount Hawk are punished there as James Hannigan takes a three over the outstretched arm of Leroy. Into the middle of Keeper Burke, gets all the way to the lane but can't finish. And rebounded by McGrath but stolen away, Corkery finds Bowler, back to Corkery. Corkery takes a three from the corner, that one's long. And a foul is going to be called on Burke as he just reaches in, stops the, stops the fast break. Four fifty-one to go in the second quarter. Seven-point lead for Gail Klostermuir. Corner jump shot rolls around but goes. For McGrath, and he extends the lead here. And Pat Mountainhawk, after a great start at the corner, just shipped a few points here, and the lead's starting to grow a little bit for AG. Yeah, they've got a lot of quick shot options on their offense, and they haven't dropped for them, and because of that, now they're uh, struggling a little bit, as we see Keneally pick up his second. Uh, Dolly might call a timeout now in just a minute. I would say if uh, if they don't get a score coming down the next side. So it'll be Lehan going to line with two shots. And Collins sits at the scorer's table ready to replace Lehan, give him a little bit of a breather. First one is good from Davy Lehan. And he knocks in the second as well. So he'll get a well-deserved break. And also coming in for Mount Hawk is Tristan Raymond. But as you mentioned there, there might be a timeout. And as you talk about, John Downing's taking that timeout. We'll step away for a second. So welcome back, 4.13 to go in the second quarter. Time out from Mercy Mount Hawk, produces two points. And Pat, what will John Dowling be talking about during that time out there? Yeah, I think he'll, you know, he'll say we need to uh, have a little bit more patience offensively. We need to take the opportunity to uh, work the ball around a bit and not just go with the first opportunity that we see. So rather than an open shot, we're looking for a good shot. Jack McGrath called for a travel there, so another chance to cut into this lead here for Mercy Mount Hawk. Bowler, wide open three from the wing, but Canelli has been away, gets the rebound, misses, but Leroy back up for two. And a good inside presence for Mount Hawk on the rebounds. Yeah, and it, it's crucial, those two baskets were big because it was an 11-point lead, it's back to seven now. And it's made a, you know, make a big difference. Like I said, if AG get going, I can see that they'd be really tough to, to wind back in. 
Missed shot from Moynihan, but rebounded. And a missed shot from Hannigan. As he fell with the pressure. Leroy gets the rebound. And here's Vansell. Gets it to Keneally. But he can't score. Leroy again tries to tip it in. Doesn't go. Three minutes to go in his first half. 34-27. Not a good defensive rebound there by Collins. And here is that man Collins. Kicks it back out to James Hannigan for three. That one doesn't go and good hustle there from Ben Sell gets the ball. He looks to go all the way to the basket and he's fouled as we have three bodies down on the floor. So he'll go to the line for two shots. Better job by Montauk defensively. Uh, you know, when AG are getting the ball into that high post, they're doing a good job of uh, active hands and, and not giving them easy looks. So David Leahan will call a timeout for the AG to chuck things over. We're back with you shortly. So welcome back here. The noise during the timeout was deafening here. We got a bit of action from the sidelines. From the Mount Hawk fans. First one is missed from Fanshell. And now Fanshell makes the second. Cuts the lead to six. 2.41 to go. David Leahan checked back in during that timeout. And he nearly gets a three, but again, Collins, been fantastic on the board, somehow managed to get to Moynihan. Moynihan, pull up jump shot from the corner, that bounces out. This time, Leroy out jumps everybody, but we're going to get a jump ball. Leroy was uh, contesting maybe to catch a little bit. He felt that the AG guy was on his back as he was grabbing that and was coming down. Lehan gets into the key, kicks it out to James Hannigan. Hannigan, one bounce, jump shot is good. Yeah, good things happen for AG when Lehan gets into the paint. He either uh, finishes or he finds guys that are wide open. Nice fake from Corky, kicks it back out. So Vanciel with a foul called. It's only the third team foul, so it'll be a sideline ball. And Scott Hannigan was taking a little break, and now he'll give James Hannigan a little break. Bowler. Corkery drives baseline. Just stepped on the line there, so it'll be AG ball, 1.51 to go. I think that's the third time, you know, that that's been called in this in this first half of basketball. Scott Hannigan fakes the pass inside, Lights, finds Leahan on the opposite wing. Nice pass, it goes all the way back round to Hannigan. Good defence this time from Mount Hawk. Shot clock's down to eight. Lehan pulls up from the foul line, bounces in and out. His last couple of shots have looked like they're in and just bobbled out as Van Selva. Good defense from Lehan and he's Collins in front of him. And Collins finishes on the break for two. Yeah, good job. 
Really nice play there by AG on the turnover, immediately releasing it to the guy on the break and a good finish. It's a 10 point lead for the AG. Baula goes up, doesn't get it, he's going to grab his own rebound, which he does. He'll try again and goes up. And that one bobbles in for Baula. Great effort from Stephen Baula that time as he has two attempts and gets the second one. Hannigan wastes no time in coming back for the AG to restore the 10 point lead. 45 seconds to go. Leroy from the corner for two. Leroy shows his touch. Lovely basket. Great steal by Corkery. And Lehan grabs hold of him. Unsportsmanlike called. And sub come in as Keneally will take a break to protect him from fouls late in the quarter. And in to the game again steps Raymond. Pat, you have to say, sometimes in these games, especially with big crowds, teams play nervously, but this has been a really entertaining, high-scoring game, really. Yeah, both teams are capable of putting up the points. You know, they've had some big-scoring games uh, on their way here to the final. So it's uh, nice to see that they're not letting the occasion get to them and they're playing some nice basketball. And we have a timeout here with 32 seconds to go. Welcome back here, 40-33. The AG lead Mercy Mounthawk in the schools. Subway schools under 19A final. 32.3 seconds to go. Mounthawk with the ball. Corkery has the ball in his hands here. As the crowd making a huge amount of noise. Nice drive into the lane. And a finish from James Fanan. We're back to a five-point game here. It has been a fantastic 45 seconds there for Mount Hawk, knocking five points off this lead from AG. Seven seconds on the game clock, first half. James Hannigan, nice footwork from Hannigan, all the way to the line. And right on the buzzer there, there's two for James Hannigan. Caps off a fantastic half for the AG. And at the end of this, at half time here, in the Subway School's under 19A final, it's Mercy Mount Hawk 35, Colosta. Gail Kloster, Muir, AG, 42. We're back to the start of the second half.
So welcome back here. We're just underway here in the second half of what's been a really exciting first half of the Subway Schools under 19A boys final. It's Mercy Mount Talker trailing Gail Kloshamura, the AG, by 35 to 42. And Pat, who's impressed you in the first half? Yeah, you have to say for the AG, it's been the Hannigans. You know, Scott had 14 points and James had 18, so they had 32 points combined between the two of them. Really, you know, some really excellent offensive skills shown as we see Collins with the two in the paint. Um, and then for Mount Hawk, you know, Keneally's always the threat when he gets the ball inside. I felt he got a little bit tired towards the end of the second quarter there, but the other guys around him have stepped up a little bit. Corkery has been impressive, a couple of turnovers, but been working hard, and Keneally knocks down the long two to keep uh, Mount Hawk in this game. Got away with the backcourt there, he definitely took off in the backcourt and caught it before he left. Before he hit the floor, sorry, so Mount Hawk do get the ball back, so it's 37-44. Two teams cancel out each other with scores here in the opening minute of the third quarter. Yeah, Leroy's the other player for uh, Mount Hawk who's been very solid. Big three-point shot there from James Fernand and Pat, we were talking off air that Tralee up to that point hadn't made a three. Yeah, and, he, and he'd attempted, I think it was three in the first half and, and missed them all, you know. But a real shooter's mentality, if I'm open, I'm going to take it and forget the last one and off we go. Ball comes out of the foot, so it'll stay AG ball. Ten on the shot clock, 8.26 to go in the third quarter. James Hannigan to Looney, outside to Lee Han. Three on the shot clock, he's going to get it up, down to two. He doesn't get it off in time. So we're going to shot clock violation. 8.17 to go. Mount Hawk trailing by four. And Bowler and Corkley just look over at Coach John Dowling for instruction. Leroy to Corkley. Good defense from Hannigan. Keeps him out of the key. Nine on the shot clock. Fanan made his... Uh, Bowler all the way to the bucket. Bowler had a good few in the first half, but missed that one. Rebounded by Scott Hannigan. Here's James with him. He finds James and great finish for two from James Hannigan. Yeah, great court vision there. He attacked the paint. Always knew where his brother was cutting into. And uh, nice pass over to two defenders. Corkway to Leroy. Been at the top of that 3.9 a lot. Just setting things up as a swing man. And we're going to have a foul inside. It's going to go... A against Looney and then just trying to stop Keneally getting position. It's told by referee Mark Gillow and he's put in the jersey. And a nice out of bounds play inside finished by Fernand so he's had a great start in the second half. Yeah nice play. He recognised that the defence had switched off and pushed up on the, the two big guys for Mount Hawk and he was wide open close to the basket. Scott Hannigan for a long two. Tough shot from the corner. Makes it look easy. Yeah, killer. Most coaches really hate those long twos when you got the foot on the line. Fowler to Leroy. Corkery. Eight seconds on the shot clock. Fowler gets down the lane, but a good hand. I think this time it's from Looney gets a hand on the ball. So five on the shot clock. It'll be end line ball as. Bowler just fixes his shoe that come off on the drive. So we're ready to go now. Stephen Bowler's fixed his shoe. The end line ball to Mount Hawk. 6.54. Five seconds on the shot clock here. Inside to Keneally. Nice out of bounds play. And it resulted in two free throws for Mercy Mount Hawk. Yeah, good job by Mercy Mount Hawk there. You know, they, they do look inside against Keneally. So they do. 
Uh, and uh, he does a good job after the inbounding there, getting great position right in the middle of the key. A nice roll on the free throw, so he'll get one. And he makes no mistake in knocking down both, so we're 44. 48, 6.45 to go. Third quarter of the Subway Schools under 19A final. Looney to Hannigan, Hannigan for three. And Hannigan knocks down a long range three point shot to extend the lead for the AG. That's his third three pointer of the game. He's uh, feeling it from the outside at the moment. And a steal from Scott Hannigan. He's going to lay this one up. And he's too strong this time, misses the layup. And Mount Hawk got away with one there. Lehan nearly jumps the lane, but the pass to Coach David Lehan will result in sideline ball for AG, leading by seven. James Hannigan being pressured by Corfe, gets into the key, all the way to the basket, but met at the wing by Leroy. And Mount Hawk this time will look to push back as Corkley. He thinks about the three, gets it to Bowler. Bowler finds his way into the key. And a foul is called, but it's not going to count. It's going to go before the shot. So it's been called on number 14, Kean Looney. So it'll be sideline ball. And that's Looney's fourth foul. So he's going to come out and he'll be replaced by Kevin Moynihan. Yeah, there's three quick fouls now that AG have picked up, so 5.47 to go in this third quarter. Leading by seven. Let's see, can Mount Hawk get another good, well-executed out-of-bounds play? We've got a technical foul there. It's going to go against Kevin Moynihan. He was warned. There was a discussion on the foul line between Moynihan and Bowler. And he was warned, I don't know what he said, we couldn't see from up here, there didn't seem to be much going on, but he obviously said something that upset the referee, and a technical foul has been called, so it'll be a free throw to Mercy Mount Court, and they'll receive the ball back from the end line, as the referee just explains to coach Dave Lehan. So that's three fouls on Moynihan. It's actually a double foul. So it was uh, also okay. on Bowler. So that puts AG into the team fouls for the rest of this quarter. So that was a double technical foul then. Yeah, must have been. So a double technical foul on the both players. So Okay, so no free throws. So save that ball. Turnover now and we're back to normal service. Here is Moynihan, finds a cut in Collins. A lot of action on the hoop there, didn't really see what happened, but the result meant ball didn't go in. Yeah, he went up strong, I think, you know, tried to slap the board as he was doing it, maybe just a little bit too strong on it. Leroy grabs the rebound and puts it back in for Mount Hawk. And AG keep getting these little ones, but Mount Hawk aren't going away and just hanging around in this game as they trail by five. Yeah, and you feel if if Mount Hawk can get a bit of a lead and, and put a bit of pressure on AG, we'll, we'll find out what they're made of. Collins, tough shot from Lehan, is good! And he's fouled, so he's got a chance to go to the line for a rare four-point play. That's Baller's second foul. And Mount Hawk's second team foul in this quarter. And the four-point play is converted, so back to a nine-point lead. Five minutes to go in this third quarter. Corby with the ball for Mount Hawk. Bowler looks to get it inside to Keneally. Can't do it with good hands from Moynihan. Lehan, nice pass to Moynihan. And two for Moynihan. And we're going to get a timeout here as Mount Hawk want to talk it over.
So we're back underway here. It's Mercy Mount Hawk trailing 46-57, the AG. There's a bit of full court pressure from AG here. Back into the hands of Corky. Good defense, results in a steal from Scott Hannigan. He's all the way to the basket. This time makes no mistake with the finish. AG need a basket here. They can't keep leaking up. Like, sorry, Mount Hawk need a basket here. AG need to keep this pressure up. If it gets to 15, you feel they're going to push on to 20. As Ballard checks back in. Yeah, AG for a good one here. Really put the pressure on the Mount Hawk. Up to 13 here. And a steal nearly by Moynihan. He does get it. And it's 4 1 0. Lee Han just about gets control of his body to finish for two and worrying times here for Mount Hawk and coach John Dowling again hands on the ball from AG and Pat they've really picked up the intensity defensively a lot of tip balls a lot of steals yeah they've done a great job of double teaming Keneally inside they're making it difficult for Mount Hawk to get the ball in and you know active hands the guards have been great and then they've been finishing in transition and coach John Dowling reacts as a beautiful three from Fanan with a change of point guard as Ziggy Kalekta sets in for the first time today for Mount Hawk he's wearing 15 uh, James Fernand made that bucket and Mount Hawk really needed that too corner three from Scott Hannigan rebounded Moynihan come off his foot though so we'll go the other way Collector does a good job of getting the ball over the half under pressure. Not easy to come off the bench this late into the game. He was good when he came in in the semi-final. And back-to-back -back buckets for Mount Hawk as Bowler gets two. Crucial stop needed here now by Mount Hawk. Nice pass inside from Leanne to Moynihan. Step back three from Hannigan. Bounces out. But... Scott Hannigan gets a tip and gets it to Lehan. Lehan to Hannigan for two. Mount Hawk have to do a better job on getting uh, box outs, on getting finding people and preventing these offensive rebounds. You can't give AG second attempts like that. Penili eventually gets the ball. Well denied from Lehan. Always the basket. It's well blocked from Collins. As Fernand tried to get to the hoop. Just about evades Bowler, but they've numbers here. Moynihan for an open three. Doesn't go. Keneally tips it to Leroy. But good defense from James Hannigan. Again, you just see that extra little bit of effort as boys fight for the ball on the, ball, ball on the floor, but the extra little bit of effort from the AG. Yeah, good job by Moynihan. He's been instrumental since he's checked in in this third quarter and really active hands, getting those deflections like you were saying earlier, Matt. He's done a really, really good job on it. As we see Lee Han telling AG to slow things down a little bit now. Two minutes to go in this third quarter. Under 19A, Subway Schools Cup Final. Three from Lee Han from the corner. It's long. Keneally gets the ball. Again, pressure and... Moynihan has gone down hurt here. They've got to get over the halfway line. They do. And the referees have stopped it. I'm sure, I'm sure Coach John Dowling not impressed. No one wants to see anyone injured, but under the rules, they should have played on until AG got the ball back, I suppose. Yeah, I wasn't interfering with play. He was on his own on the other side of the court, you know. Not sure what happened. Moynihan seemed to take a hit to the stomach. So he'll come out, be replaced. So Jack McGrath checks in and then Collector will be replaced by Corkery for Mount Hawk.
Referees just discussing what they're going to do time-wise and where they're going to put it in. And again, straight away, a turnover. And that pressure, you talked about it earlier about Keneally. They've really done a great job of not allowing him to get a touch in this second half. Yeah, Lee Han did a really good job there now. He, you know, he forced Keneally into budding up against him and he didn't step out to receive the pass. He was, you know, more worried about the contact, as we see Hanahan. Great pass from James Hannigan gets into the key. But Collins is met at the wing. But it'll still be AG Ball leading by 13, 130 to go in this third quarter. Picked out to James Hannigan, top of the three-point line to Scott. Six on the shot clock. Have to attack quickly here. Gets it to McGrath. McGrath nowhere to go with a 24-second violation. As Keneally just comes down below us to get some instructions from Coach Dowling. And he calls up a play. Corkery will set things up. Three-point shot from Lee ha uh, from Fernan is off. Hannigan under pressure from Fernand. Gets it to Lehan, 13 on the shot clock. He takes a pull up two. Doesn't go. But again, Collins does a great job of just affecting the rebounds as Hannigan goes for three. This time Leroy is fouled in the air from Collins. Yeah, great job by Collins initially and a tip down to McGrath. Nice shot, but then going again, being aggressive, looking for that offensive board the second time round. Calls Leroy. And we get two shots here during the penalty. 13 point lead with 42 seconds to go in this third quarter. Mount Hawk will be looking to try and get this below 10 going into the fourth and trying to find a bit of rhythm to start the next quarter well. Leroy makes the first, misses the second. So it's a 12-point lead. 63-51. Corkery evades the pressure there. 24 seconds to go. Hannigan will look to hold for the final shot of the quarter. Be an excellent quarter for the AG, leading by 12. Yeah, after a great start by Montauk, you got to say AG really took control in this third quarter. Six seconds, James Hannigan to Lehan. Lehan for three. Doesn't go, Collins nearly tips it, so the buzz will go to so the end of the third. It's the AG leading on a scoreline of 63 to 51.
Welcome back here at the business end of this under 19A Subway Schools Cup final. It's the AG with the lead in Mercy Mount Hawk. 63 to 51 as Leroy can't finish there close. So Pat, we go in the final quarter. What are Mount Hawk going to have to do to get their way back into this game? Stops. Simple as that. They're going to have to stop AG scoring and then convert down the other side. They really can't let this 12-point uh, lead get any further out because they'll struggle to, to reel AG back in. Keneally hasn't seen much of the ball in that third quarter, but you see what he can do with it when he does get a beautiful move inside. And it's a 10-point lead. Yeah, that brings Keneally up to 19 points for the game. He's the top scorer for Mount Hawk. Scott to James Hannigan, back to Lehan. James Hannigan, extra pass to Moynihan for three from the corner. Doesn't go, rebound to Keneally, and Fernand is off on the break ahead of him. And the pass just evades Moynihan, so he's called for the foul as he hits Fowler. Nothing malicious there, I don't think. I think he was just reaching out for the ball. So Fernand with the ball in his hands for Mount Hawk. Corkery, he takes a three. They need this. Doesn't go. But a great steal from Fernand. He pulls up for two. Tough shot for Fernand, but I suppose Pat, they need to make those threes, need to make that, that, that steal in order to get themselves back in the game, but they'll have another chance here as it's turned over again. Yeah, absolutely. I think coach will probably be a bit disappointed that nobody ran up and support with Fernand after he made the steal, you know? So he had no option really but to take that jump shot. Corkley gets it inside. An offensive foul is called as we get a timeout here for the AG. Welcome back here, 8.15 to go, 10 point lead for the AG over Mercy Mount Hawk. Keneally picked up his third foul with that offensive one. So James Hannigan to Scott Hannigan to Lehan at the top of the key. Moynihan, nice fake to Lehan. Lehan puts it on the floor against Leroy and good finish from David Lehan off the glass. Yeah, he's been very solid for AG today. Every time he's attacked, something good has happened. Paolo, oh, the nice spin to answer. Keeps it at 10. And a bit of full court pressure here, zone press. Hannigan gets into the key. Finds Collins with good hands from Paolo. He's for now with him. Nice pass in front. And we've got a foul call from behind here, so it'll be two shots. to Fernand.
be called on 13, who isn't on the floor. So, oh, and we've changed here. So he's going to go against nine. So we'll go against James Hannigan. It's his second. Knocks down both, gets it back to single figures. The Pat still in the game here, Mercy Mount Hope, with 7.30 to go. Yeah, like I said earlier, they just need to get a couple of more stops now and, and you know, convert on the other side. AG have slowed down a little bit offensively, and you can see it maybe taking them a little bit out of rhythm on a couple of their offenses, but then Hannigan steps up and knocks down the two for them there to bring the lead back up to 10. 7.25 to go in this fourth. Beautiful basket from Scott Hannigan this time. And Bowler does a good job of getting his own rebound. And foul, he'll go to the line for two shots. And that's Collins' fourth foul. Long time to go, 7.19. It'll be tough for him to sell foul trouble the way he plays. He's been all action for the AG today. Grabbing rebounds and affecting shots. So both foul shots made by Bowler. Back to eight points. And a turnover, but Scott Hannigan just gets the ball back in time. Lehan finds a cut in Moynihan, but he can't finish. He's managed to get the ball, but well blocked from Bowler. Shot clock on six, three point goes up. And a great job rebounding by Leroy, and a foul's gonna go as we talk about Collins. But a tough block on that call there. But as Leroy grabbed the rebound, he's called for foul to switch it in. But he's been terrific during the game though, Pat. Yeah, he's been very solid. He's a great game on the boards for for AG and has been a real disruptive presence down in the post on Keneally. And he's been replaced by Looney, who's also on four fouls. And Leahan fights for that ball and it'll go out of bounds to the AG. Eight point lead, 6.41 to go. Hannigan breaks the press there with the help of Lehan. Lehan calls the play out. 15 seconds on the shot clock. 6.30 to go in the game. It's an eight point lead for the AG. Inside to Looney. Looney pull up jump shot over the hand of Leroy, which is always tough with his length. Here comes Bowler with a chance to cut into the lead a little bit more. Open shot for Fernand. He thinks about it. He eventually lets it go. That one's off and rebounded by David Lehan. Gets it to Scott Hannigan. Hannigan just uses a little bit of time. Oh, brilliant pass. Back door from Leahan. Finds the cut in Moynihan. He'll go to line for two shots. Yeah, Leahan has been great. He runs the point, you know, for a, for a big forward. He really sees the floor really, really well. And you have to say, AG's game with them cutting back door so effectively is, uh, has generated a lot of points for them here today. Puts Keneally on four fouls as Moynihan misses the first on the line. Does he get the roll for the second one? Leroy cleans up the boards. Corkery. Benzel stolen away and great hustle from Moynihan. He gets the ball to Hannigan. And Hannigan gets two, so a 10-point lead is restored for the AG. And Pat, that's been a lot of the way the game's gone. Just the extra effort and the steals that they've been able to create has kept that lead as nearly get another one on the rebound there. Yeah, 
you know, the defensive intensity on both teams has been good, but you have to say AG have shaded it, and that's why they have this 10-point lead with 5.28 to go in this fourth. Next couple of possessions are key for Mount Hawk. Time is ticking away, and if they can't eat into this lead, they're going to be in trouble. Oh, great play from Corkley, set play from the sideline. And just when in rhythm, Corkley looked that little bit smoother from the three-point line. That's his first three of the game. Yeah, lovely play. As AG just escaped the pressure and get it over half court. The lead is down to seven. Lehan out to Hannigan. Hannigan for three. That one's going to be off. Bowler steps on the line as he tries to keep it in there. So 14 seconds on the shot clock. Just under five to go. Seven point lead for AG. Montauk can get another stop here now. It'll be crucial. And Fernand replaces Vincel after a little bit of a breather. Hannigan, James Hannigan for three. And Pat, he's been deadly from that long range three point line all day long. Yeah, he's the top scorer for AG. That puts him on, I think, about 28 points now for the game. He's been really, really effective out there for them. So we're back to 10. Leeway puts the ball on the floor. Yeah, good call there as he's fouled on the arm going to the basket. I think that's on Looney, so that's going to be his fifth. Yeah, this is big for AG now, you know, with 4.31 to go in this. That's the two big forwards who are doing a great job inside on Leroy and Keneally fouled out. Mc McGrath gets back in. It's going to be crucial now that he's able to step up and get some boards. If Mount Hawk can get to work inside. They could really eat into this lead quickly. Leroy misses the second. Line was broken. And he gets another attempt. Mark Gilligan just came over and uh, explained the call to the coach. He wasn't quite sure why he was getting another attempt. Makes it count this time. Back to an eight point game, 4.26 to go. Hannigan inside to Lehan. Lehan, beautiful pass. Inside McGuire, got away with a little bit of a shuffle there. And gets two. There's a big basket, it'll give AJ confidence now. And Mount Hawk just unable to break that. 10 7 point barrier as Bowler gets it back down to 8 yeah they just need to get stops and you know every time they, they try and bring a chip away at it it's AG gets another basket down the other side so Mount Hawk really need to try and get two stops in a row here now and work on from there Moynihan missed the shot but gets his own rebound this time he puts it on the floor Leroy does a good job of defense. Hannigan for three. That one's going to be off. Bowler with a rebound. And a score here would lift the roof off the place. Bowler finds Fernan in the corner. He's been good from this range. And Leroy is just put off by McGrath. And it'll be end line ball to Mount Hawk. Mount Hawk have been good on their baseline inbounds. They can get a score here and bring it down to six. It'll be massive. Paula looking to try and get Canelli inside, but again, do a great job. Shot goes up, rebounded by Leroy. And a foul is called, so Leroy will get to go to the line for two shots. 3.07 to go, eight-point lead for 
Gail close to Muir, AG. Luhan's third foul, he's picked up. Leroy needs to knock these two down. He rattles in the first one. As much as we've been talking about Mount Hawk not being able to, to get it past that seven points, you have to credit AG as well for, for keep putting it up to them. James Hannigan to the line for two. Finishes on the break and he's fouled to get to go to the line for the bonus. The chance to get it back to 10. And we're going to have a timeout here. Coach John Dowling wants to talk things over for Mount Hawk. Welcome back here, three minutes to go. And an extremely exciting Subway Schools Under 19A Boys Cup final. It's James Hannigan at the line. VAG to finish off a three point play and get it back to 10 point lead. Yeah, he stepped up big this last couple of minutes. That's a big three and nice basket and one to get that big six points that they needed to keep them. Keep them ticking away and keep that lead ahead for them. Bowler goes to the basket but comes off. AG, it's the end line ball, 14 on the shot clock, 2.50 to go in the game. 10 point lead, as it has been for the last five or six minutes. It's been down to seven but gone back as Corkery, another good out of bounds play. Doesn't go, rebound Keneally. Oh, that's a tough ball. He's been called for a travel there. Might have got a bit lucky. Corkby just missed the skill. This time it's Scott Hannigan. He has people with him. He finds McGrath. And McGrath is fouled by Leroy. That's going to be his third foul. And that'll put Montauk into team fouls as well. So that's both teams in team fouls to finish this game. 2.35 on the clock. So Jack McGuire, a chance to extend the lead here. Can't get it, Moynihan, who's been a live wire throughout again. And Pat, you have to say, as good as Lehan and the two Hannigans have been, They've had so much help as well from the likes of Collins, the likes of Moynihan, even Looney who's fouled out now as well. Yeah, like it, it's not a deep bench for uh, Gael Kloster. They have got production from each of the three guys that have stepped in from him, including McGraw who's on the court now. But you're 100%, like Moynihan and Collins especially have, have really stepped up and, and given something to the team. Shot to try and beat the shot clock. From Hannigan is short, so it will be a 24 second violation. 2.18 to go. 10 point lead. So Mount Hope needs scores and they need them fast. 
Corkley, guarded by James Hannigan. Leroy, top of the 3.9. Fernand, he's made a couple of threes. This one has to go. It doesn't, and rebounded by Leroy. So they have another chance here. Corkley, nice fake pass inside, but that one doesn't go. Moynihan grabs the rebound. And Lehan, as he has done for most of the game, just calmly sets things up for the AG. Oh, great hands this time from Bowler. And he's a chance to lay up. But Lee Han gets back and cleanly strips. Gives Bowler a, a bit of a fist pump. And looks like that could have been the last opportunity for Mount Hawk, Pat. Yeah, I can't see them getting that 10 points back now with less than a minute and a half to go. So Bowler have the ball again, 122 to go. This time he looks to go away to the basket. He's fouled, so he'll have to earn them from the foul line. As Coach Dowling just calls out what will surely be a press. And we're going to have a timeout called here from AG to talk it over. 1.19 to go. So 1.19 to go, it'll be two foul shots. For Bowler. And as we mentioned, Mount Hawk up against it here. They've also up against it in the crowd, you may have seen. They've been winning the dance-off acrobatics for the whole game. And with the last time out of the game, the AG pulled their superstar out of the crowd. And I think in the end, Pat, she probably has won the the battle of the acrobats as well yeah she was great it's fantastic to see the crowd so into it see all the students from both schools here and giving so much as Baller fouls the hand and he'll go to the line 115 to go on this fourth so Mount Hope decided to try and prolong the game a little bit here give themselves a few more extra shots at breaking in but Difficulty is Pat, they can foul and the missed shot will help them but they need to get some scores, twos and threes on the other side to make AG sweat a little bit towards the end. Yeah, as he missed both. Good rebound by Corkery. So for now, back to Corkery. Bowler and a little bit too much time off top but Corkery fake with a three. Oh, that was in and out. Rebound by Leroy. Doesn't go and Corky can't keep it in. And they had a chance there, Pat. They did, yeah. If that had gone in, you know, they were knocking on the door, eight point game, couple of quick steals, even if they needed to foul and slow it down. AG haven't shot the ball particularly well from the free throw line. But you'd have to say it's all over now. So Hannigan slows things down, back in the hands of Lee Han. 46 seconds to go. Great handle from Lehan, gets it to Moynihan, who finds McGrath, who seals the deal with two inside. Fernand, Bowler will take a three this time. That one bounces out and rebounded by the fantastic James Hannigan. It's only a second difference in the shot clock and the game clock. As Hannigan turns to his crowd, and sportingly, the boys shake hands on the floor. Pat, been a fantastic game of basketball, and even went right up that last last uh, three-point shot we described. It could have gone either way, but the best team in the end probably did just about hold on. 
Yeah, you have to say the Hannigans were phenomenal. AG did an absolutely great job of uh, moving the ball. They had a lot of support. The Hannigans, Lehan was fantastic on the point. Really deserved it. Offensively, I just felt they had a little bit more than, than Mount Hawk today. And uh, defensively, you know, they were very intense, very focused when they needed to be to, to push out the lead and keep it there. So as you see, the AG boys celebrate. Fantastic performance from them in the Subway Schools under 19 A final. As we await the presentation with the President of Basketball Island, Theresa Walsh, and the Secretary General of Basketball Island. The Secretary General of Basketball Island, Bernard O'Byrne. Pat Mer Mercy Mounthawk certainly put up a good performance in the final and you know had the ball gone differently they could have ha perhaps had a chance. Yeah and, and you know they have a lot of good key pieces there around I, I, you know I felt they maybe looked a little bit inside to Keneally a bit too much early in the game and they needed other guys to step up a bit now Keneally is a fantastic player he did a great job but I thought AG did a good job of you know down the stretch forcing him to step outside the key where he didn't really want to catch it as much and uh, you know they, they forced it out they, they, they had a game plan they worked it well I thought uh, Mount Hawk of, you know, can hold their heads high they had a really good game they just come up against uh, an excellent excellent shooting team in AG particularly with James Hanahan so as you see Mount Hawk get their medals there Fantastic performance. Now the AG will collect their medals. Really, Pat, they showed no nerves right from the start. They started off scoring well and just kept that throughout. Ended up after a 20 point first quarter, ended up on 79, 20 points a quarter. Yeah, offensively they were very effective. You know, I felt that, that they could score pretty much at will against the zone from Mer Mercy Hawk. Uh, you know, they did a good job in transition, finishing after they got tips and steals and forced turnovers. So you have to say that they, they, they put a really good job in. But the two Hannigans were exceptional today, and James really shot the ball well from outside. So now for the MVP. It's a fantastic performance. Finishing up with 26 points from the AGs, number nine, James Hannigan. And Pat, he was extremely good from start to finish there. Yeah, exceptional. Shot the ball really well from the outside. You know, finished some crucial plays down the, uh, in uh, late clock situations for them. Uh, handled the ball, got some great tips. You know, I, I felt uh, well-deserved MVP. So we'll sign off here as we watch the AG picking up the trophy. Still to come next up is then the 16C final. It'll take place in about 10, 15 minutes time, but stay with us for that. As we see the under-19A six, under 19A Subway Schools champions, Gail Kloshamuro, the AG, lift the trophy. And congratulations to them.